Welcome back, everybody. This is Dave Spider Monkey 2A, and today we're just going to do a quick little <sighs> unboxing video of something that I found on Amazon. It claims to be a universal holster for your handguns, and I have never heard of such a thing, although I don't look for holsters <laughs> all that much, but it claims that you can just tighten and loosen up screws to make different sizes for different handguns. We're going to test it out real quick. Stick around. Should be a lot of fun. All right, guys, so I don't even remember how I came across this, but it says it's Cytac.com. I don't know. It's it's not made in America, that's for sure. Um, yeah, made in China, yeah. So it claims it fits multiple calibers. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> We're just going to have to open this up quick, look at it. All it comes with is an Allen wrench and the holster itself here so yeah i don't know like i said what it claims is that you can just loosen and tighten up and it's going to fit i don't know it has a little click in there to where it should hold in place the one i really wanted this to work for is my sig p320x10 that's what I wanted to buy this for, and I got this for like 30 bucks, I think, so I'm not getting my hopes too far up. It's outside the waistband, you got your belt loop there. I don't know, let's grab some hand, different handguns and test this out. Alright guys, so yeah, as we go, we'll just have to tighten and loosen this thing up. We'll see, like I said, it's going to baffle me if it does, I don't know how it could. But we'll test it out. First up, we got the smallest one I believe I have. If not, it's close. The M&P Shield Plus. So, let's just give it a whirl. That actually clicked into place, and I didn't have to adjust anything. So, holds in there pretty tight. It clicked in, so it's not coming out. But will it come out with just the push of that button? It did. Took a little bit. Okay. So, <laughs> looks kind of goofy, but the MMP Shield Plus fit. Yeah. A little, little bit getting used to that. Uh, that one fit into there. Um, let's see. Next up, we would have the Ruger Security 380. This one's a little bit thicker. <laughs> that fit into there as well. It fits pretty tightly. Uh, these guns are unloaded, guys. Um, but yeah, fit pretty tightly into there. So if you see down there, into that, if we can see that, sorry, if you can't. It has kind of a spring here in the bottom that it just kind of folds up onto that stops it. Uh, that must, that's your clicker, I guess. So... Two for two, uh, the M&P Shield Plus and the Ruger Security 380 both fit into there. So, I mean, worst case, if nothing else fits, uh, those two did. So now we got the M&P Shield 45, a little bit bigger, longer, I should say. <laughs> that clicked right into there as well. Does have a little play, but it's not coming back out unless I want it to. Holding in there, comes out with the click. <laughs> So far, I'm pretty impressed, guys. All right, let's grab a couple more and take a look. Okay, so next up, I guess size-wise, be pretty close to the M&P, um, the Taurus TX-22. All right, so now we're getting into a little bit different here. Okay, so let's loosen that up a bit. Just felt a little too tight. I don't know exactly how you do this because there's no instructions but i'm guessing you just loosen it up to make it a little bit wider so we'll just loosen up all the screws here same time um not sure what size allen wrench this is i want to say a one eighth but don't quote me on that came from china might be metric 
Don't quote me on that. Okay, so we loosen it up a little bit. Um, I didn't hear it click, but it feels like it's in there. Yeah, it wasn't a very audible click, but it is in there. I am feeling or seeing the paddle here come out more, and it's it's in there. And then I hit the paddle, it's coming out. It's, uh, <laughs> you're gonna have to play around with that one. But anyway, so the TX-22 would pass. Let's try the standard M&P. That one clicked in. Uh, it does feel like I need to loosen it up just a little bit more. I'm guessing I could just do it based while I have it in here. Um, again, guys, this is a Cytac. I think I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, my apologies. Okay, so that worked. <laughs> I am honestly surprised. Um, I will definitely have to wear this out to the range and use it more. We're just doing a little sizing here, guys. So... Uh, let's go with the 1911 now. We might be going back to a little bit thinner. So, yeah, I would definitely have to tighten that up. So let's tighten that up quick while we have it around it. I'm guessing you wouldn't want to go crazy tight around it, but just enough so that it would start being snug. And guys, I'm just doing this is as I go here on the fly. I literally just got this in the mail today okay so there's still a little play there so we'd have to tighten it up even more we're gonna have to loosen it right back up for the p320s here so i don't want to go too tight but i yeah i probably should have started or gone with this when we were doing these shields because it's a, the 1911s are thinner yeah i'm actually having to go pretty much all the way here for the 1911 But, I mean, it works. Still a little bit of play, but it's holding in there. Color me impressed. Um, I mean, this isn't the greatest grade quality plastic, polymer, whatever you want to call it. All right, so now we just have the... Yeah, it looks like we're just down to the P320, so I'm going to have to loosen this up just a little bit, and we'll see if they fit in there. All right, as I'm loosening this up, I should say that you would definitely have to make sure you are not buying these for a revolver. These are definitely made for semi-automatic handguns. Definitely no room for that cylinder um, that you would have in revolvers. So I'm having to go pretty far out with this. Uh, as I'm, oh, there we go. Okay, so I got to go a little bit more. That was pretty tight. And I'm also curious as to how, keep dropping sailing wrench, how these bolts or these screws will hold up with constant, or not constant, but um, the wear and tear of taking it in and out of the holster. Are they going to wiggle loose or do they hold pretty true? All right, so my M18 SIG P320 held in just fine. Um, I did have to loosen that up quite a bit, but... Looks like they do have some springs in there as well. Okay, so maybe that does need to be loosened up a little bit more. Okay, it might need to be broken into, but I don't know if you can tell, but there are some springs in there on top of the screws. So as you can see, it would give or come in. Um, interesting. <laughs> This is all new to me, guys. I don't do much with holsters because I don't, I don't carry. I just don't. And I need to, when I'm out at the range, uh, I need to do some outside the waistband carry. Okay, so this is the one I wanted it for, the P320X10. Okay, and it clicked in. Okay, so not too terrible. It is holding everything that I have in my collection. I'm sure there's some that this will not work with. Like I said, this is made for semi-automatic, um, not revolver. I mean, obviously you can tell by the design, but color me impressed guys. Uh, it fits everything I have. Will it hold up out at the range? That's gonna be have to be a whole nother story. We'll have to start wearing this every time we go out to the range to do either a review or just for plinking around. 
All right, everybody, there you have it. Just a quick little video here of an unboxing and just quick test of this SciTac <laughs> uh, holster that I found on Amazon. Like I said, it wasn't very expensive, and obviously, or honestly, if it fits all my handguns and holds up to the wear and tear, I don't need to buy holsters for all of these different handguns then. Um, should I get something that specifically fits those handguns? Absolutely, I probably should. But for a guy who doesn't do much with holsters, this will work just fine so far. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys have any experience with the SciTac company. Like I said, they are out of China, um, or it's made in China. I don't know. Distribute by some top? I don't know. SciTac Technology Limited. Let's uh, read some of the stuff. Quality control. All SciTac gears exceed strict testing and inspection measures. I hope so. It says military grade polymer. It's produced by superior military grade polymer that will meet most government tend tender requirements. Maybe. Multiple carrying platforms, multiple carrying options to satisfy different requirements for each self-defense situation. As we can see so far, just sitting here in my little gun room, it has. Um... Yeah, it just says SciTac holder fit most of the popular models worldwide. And these are the popular models. So it has worked. Wow. Uh, color me surprised, guys. Like I said, if you guys have any experience with SciTac, please let me know in the comments below. If not, um, we will get it out to the range. Uh, anytime I do a handgun review or anything just plinking, we'll put this on. Make sure it handles up to the wear and tear. I haven't put it on my belt and actually worn it. Like I said, we'll have to do that later on. All right, everybody, there you have it. This is Dave Spider Monkey 2A. Give us a like, maybe share this video. Hope you subscribe. If not, thanks for stopping by.